Welcome back. It is a Monday morning. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And it is so good to be once again <laughs> joined by the celebrated and charming and oh so cool Professor Mamokheti Pageng, who was recently honoured with the 2020 Toastmasters Communication and Leadership Award. Now, it's not lost on all of us that she received this honour in the midst of Women's Month. And so we're diving deeper into understanding her phenomenal mind and her passion for education, which began all the way back in her university days in the 90s. 1980s. Professor Paking, uh, we're looking at a picture of you now, <laughs> back in varsity days, just looking like you're having the most fabulous time. Even is that, is, that a, is that a football gear that I'm seeing? Unbelievable. Yes, soccer team, yes. What? Wow, soccer, soccer team. Okay, I've got to ask, what, what position did you play? 11. 11. <laughs> Ha, la, la, What's the 11? speed. So that, that would be typically like your left winger. So that, that's the, the player running up the and down, chasing those attacking runs. Oh, that's wow. unbelievable. Professor, Professor, do you watch soccer now? Which team do you support? Huh? Which team do you support in soccer? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> guys, look at the disappointment on Katako's <laughs> face, Professor. I, I, I tell you what, Professor, we, we want to hear everything. <laughs> we, we want to hear everything that, that you have to say perfectly and clearly. And right now we are experiencing a little bit of a technical issue. So we're going to reassign all of our analogs and algorithms yes, behind please. the scenes in the cameras. And uh, we're going to return back with you in a short second. But thank you very much for staying with us. Do not go too far away as we continue to dive into the mind of Professor Mamokreti Pakeng, who we've just discovered. Uh, wow, number 11. 11. Helman Kelly exactly, yeah, the on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Greatness all around. <laughs> it's my feel good breakfast show. Hey, welcome back once again to your feel good breakfast show. Happy Monday, if uh, nobody said it to you yet. <laughs> and it is an exceptionally happy Monday for us as we continue to link up with Professor Mamokheti Pakeng. You'll remember that earlier on we spoke to her about an incredible achievement where she was recently honored with the 2020 Toastmasters Communication and Leadership Award. And uh, we were lucky enough just uh, a couple of minutes ago mm. to reflect on some of her days in university <laughs> where she cultivated her love for education and her passion for mathematics and just, uh, just all around being an inspiration for us. And uh, we continue our chat with her right now. Thanks for sticking around with us, Professor Paking. Thanks very much, Kat. Thank you. Professor, we touched on your dress a little later on, but right now we are going to unpack the fashionable side of who you are. Why is being fashionable such an important part of who you are, Professor? You know, the, the truth of the matter is that I don't go all out to be fashionable. Mm. I support local. So um, if many years ago, I'm, I almost said a few years ago, but I thought you are as old as I am. Many years ago, <laughs> um, <laughs> I discovered that actually it is possible to buy clothes from the store that fit perfectly. Because as an African woman, I've got a small waist mm. and good African assets, if you know what I mean. Yes, so, great. Kind of, right. And it's very difficult to get clothes. I mean, it, things have changed. People don't know how hard it used to Ooh. be to get into a store. You, if it fits on your, on your uh, thighs or African assets, it doesn't fit uh, your waist. Uh, the waist is too big. Or everything was just never right. I mean, and that's the, in my view, decolonization has happened in a way it's <laughs> happening because <laughs> of the fashion industry, if you like. So I walked into Stone Sherry. That was the time when Stone Sherry and Sun Goddess came into the play, mm. right? And I walked into Stone Sherry, I took a skirt, put it on, it fitted perfectly. I was like, wow. So there are shops where I can get a skirt that fits, that doesn't need altering at all. Mm. I walked into Sun Goddess, it was the same. But then they were owned by young black African women. They knew our bodies. They had the fabric that worked, colorful and everything. The style worked and the fitting worked. I got addicted. Mm. From that time, I decided this is the only place, this is the only way I'm gonna dress. So I went to, I started dressing Sun Goddess, Stone Sherry, over and over again. They knew me, I would walk in, buy earrings, everything from them. Wow. And, and then I realized, actually, it's cheaper. 
<laughs> and then it's so versatile. I mean, I can wear African print to the store, to, to work, to the funeral, to a wedding. Mm. It still looks good, mm. you know? So, so that's why, so I'm not trying to be fashionable. I'm just trying to be, to be, um, I, at first I was just trying to, to get things that fit. And then it went on, well, it's affordable. I must keep with the affordability. Then I realized, oh, okay, actually there's more young black people who do this thing. So support local, I buy black, I buy local, I support young entrepreneurs. So all my clothes are made locally. I get now earrings, hmm. I even have skin products, hair products, everything made locally, mainly by young black entrepreneurs. Wow. What a like pleasure. The, the whole fucking lifestyle right about there. But let's talk about the other inspiration that, that you uh, constantly are giving to us through your various initiatives that you are involved in as well. There is the hashtag make education fashionable. There's hashtag Kedi uh, Paking scholarship. And then also your hashtag past 3 a.m. squad sessions. Uh, absolutely <laughs> incredible that you even find time in a 24-hour day to, to do all of those mm. things. Well, I get up any time from three o'clock, between three o'clock and half past three, I get out of bed. Mm. And it started probably 2014. I, 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 I realized that there are so many young people who send me messages, need help, how do I do this? I thought, well, they might as well get into my routine. And my routine starts at around past 3 a.m. Yeah. So I started the hashtag past 3 a.m. squad. I start with an inspiration. I used to do it every day. And then the, the students started to grow because I was saying to them, let's get on, let's get on and do this. You can do this, you've got goals, let them keep you awake. The community grew until one day, this young man uh, who's doing a PhD at UJ was so honored. I said to him, from now on, you are the CEO of the Past 3 AM squad. Mm. <laughs> um, you are gonna do this thing that I'm doing. And, I, and this is part of mentoring online. I had never met him, but he'd been one of the people who wakes up with me because I would put the wake up uh, inspiration. They would come on board to say, I'm awake, I'm doing this, I'm doing, they would share what they're doing. And of course, when I became VC, I was just too busy. I said to him, Charles, you're gonna do this. We support people who are doing, who are studying at university. We answer their questions. We point them to resources. We inspire them because it's tough out there and I can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. The community grew. Now we have Charles as the CEO. And last year we got uh, Momo as the COO. We've got Monde as the tag along. So they are sort of the leadership of the past 3 a.m. squad. I talk to them every two or three weeks. Uh, on a Saturday, we catch up on Zoom. By the way, I have never met, I have never met Momo. Uh, Monde says I, I, I kept him. I don't remember because when I'm at university keeping students, there are so many during graduation, I don't remember. <laughs> and I had to make an effort to meet Charles when I was in Joburg two, three years ago, uh, after I pronounced him as CEO. But it's amazing what online presence does. Mm. We continue to inspire, to answer questions. Now I do sessions on Sundays from four to five for students, for emerging academics, for anyone who's interested in an academic career wow. or in, involved in academics. And it's a growing community. It's not just in South Africa. It's all over the continent. It's all over the world. There are students and young academics in India, in Ireland, in Canada, who log on to join us on this journey. The Make Education Fashionable, hashtag Make Education Fashionable, we do it every year on the 1st of December, 1st, 2nd of December. And it's encouraging everyone who's achieved to share their story. And the idea here is everyone has a story. It doesn't matter what it is. Whether it was a story or, or, or things were tough academically or family-wise or emotionally or financially, you don't get to graduation without a story. It ends in triumph. But we want people to share their story so that everyone knows that the journey is not necessarily meant to be easy. Mm. If it were easy, everyone would do it. But you getting your degree, you're amongst the few. And so you must share your story to encourage others to take on the challenge. So my hashtags are about inspiration and giving hope mainly to young people. I am on social media mm. to inspire and give hope to young people. And that's why I do the hashtags. 
Oh, my goodness. I, I, I really wish that we could spend all of our three hours of the show chatting yes. to you, Professor. It is an absolute honour and a privilege, um, and especially during this time when we are looking towards incredible women to in inspire us, mm. uh, you are exactly that. And just before we go and mm. say goodbye, I just wanted to test out whether... Uh, how does the title Madam President sit with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. That's a yes. You know, That's a yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I good but not for me i'm a great support for anyone in leadership you know so, so please if you can convince someone to take it they should call on me i'll be the rah rah i'm very good with that we'll make the country we need soldiers everywhere you know future maybe tulima donzella ex mamukheti pakeng da radisen thank you very much for your time professor have a wonderful monday thank you so much katlego thank you so much for inviting me uh, and have a good day. Oh man, well there you go. Monday motivation sorted out. Let's catch up with the news.